Hey there, it's John Siskovich. I did a video in the past that I was composting my chicken manure. I just turned it. I wanna show you my turning process. I wanna talk about how it's going. And honestly, let's discuss the smell. Cleaned out the greenhouse, got all the chicken manure and hay out of there from the winter chicken housing and made a uh, hedgerow, not a hedgerow, windrow, that's the word I'm looking for. Made a windrow outside and added some brewer's grain, um, added some finished compost that I had already made from last year and just to get the microbial activity going. And uh, yeah, it smells great, it really does. That's one of the things I'm surprised about, properly cooking compost as I believe that this is. Um, doesn't smell that foul. I'm also, you know, I've been a livestock farmer for a couple of years, so I'm a little jaded, or I guess just numb to the smells of, of livestock, but it's kind of great. Some really cool stuff going on right now. So what I've been doing is I go out every two or three days uh, and turn it. I have a thermometer, a two foot thermometer that really is just like a big meat thermometer, but it's a compost thermometer because it's two feet long and it has little zones for explanation on if I'm doing a good job or not. But in general, the temperature of my compost pile, my windrow here has been 130 to 140 degrees. Uh, did get up to 150. 155 uh, at one point in one spot that was the highest it went but in general 130 140 degrees which from everything I can tell is good so I'm gonna keep turning it keep checking it me keep sure the make sure that the temperature is good I have a farmer friend uh, living nearby who's been kind of coaching me through this um, but yeah taking up all my materials put them in a windrow turn them with my tractor and uh, making some compost chicken manure Great for compost, mixing in with the hay, the brewer's grain. It's a beautiful thing. Love to talk more technically on this, but compost is actually one of those things I know the least about. Uh, but I'm trying it, figuring it out. My other camera is ringing, so I'm gonna answer that phone call and get back to this video. So John, if you're unable to give us all the technical information on how to make compost, what temperature it should reach, what's the actual microbial activity that's happening right now, what is the purpose of this video? Well, good question. The real takeaway here is that there's something I needed to do. I didn't know anything about it. I'm an outgoing guy. So I went found somebody who knew what they were talking about. They gave me some suggestions and I acted on it. I just, I took action and did it. And whether it's 100% perfect this time, if I'm lucky, yes. If it's not 100% perfect, if it goes a little bit longer, but I'm maintaining my temperatures or if my balance is off a little bit, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And that's a large part about farming is that you gotta love what you do and you gotta appreciate the process. You also have to just admit when you just don't know. You know, don't try to fake it. That's, you know, nature will, nature will know if you're faking it. And, uh, you know, she'll course correct you in her own special way. But find somebody, read a book, listen to some YouTube videos, whatever it takes. But the real takeaway, take some action, get started. You can do this on a small scale with a shovel in your backyard. You know, raise a couple chickens, find somebody else with chickens that's cleaning their coop out use that manure, source other materials, whatever the case may be, compost is amazing. It's a science that I look forward to learning more about over the next decade as I do more and more of this, and I'm happy to share it with you guys here on the YouTube channel. Uh, I think I twitched my head enough like the Papa John's guy. Anyways, uh, it's a end of a long, tired day. I'm looking forward to working for the next couple hours, having a beer, hanging out. Thanks for stopping in. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.